Welcome to the Between Two Wheels podcast, where we talk about all things on and between two wheels. I'm your host, Johnny Roblox, and you all know my co-host, Justin, because science, Bird, <laughs> and my wife and favorite biker chick, Tracy. This episode is being brought to you by Get Lowered Cycles, your one-stop shop for all things Harley. Today's episode, well, because we actually believe in waiting until after Thanksgiving to start Christmas planning, this episode is our 2019 biker christmas list but we were recording it before thanksgiving so you still broke the rules you know i got you <laughs> fuck off <laughs> we also have dogs in here too in case you want to watch on the youtube channel that's the dude why haven't we been doing that all the time i'm sorry just because have to, they always follow me not you guys but just bring dogs in here dude that'll triple our viewers <laughs> and they're really cute exactly all right so unlike <laughs> last year where there is a whole bunch of confusion over the price categories and everything. I've made it very clear this this time of what the pricing guidelines are. We have three categories. And for everything we talk about, we have Project Clean Slate affiliate links uh, included for everything. So Amazon, Get Lowered. If you decide you want to buy something from any of these, any of this list, we will get a donation for Project Clean Slate. Yeah. And you don't have to spend anything extra. It's nope. just whatever you buy goes goes to Project Clean Slate. Yeah. Yeah, buy a lot. All of it. <laughs> <laughs> so our three categories for pricing, up to $150, up to $250, and up to $500. Now. Do you know how I know you're white? Why? Your list started at $150. <laughs> Well, I know. I was like, what am I going to do about that? I, I can't spend that much money. I mean, I could. <laughs> but I'm not supposed to. Um, I, I fucked with him so much last episode. He's still recovering. <laughs> so I've also included a variance of 10% allowed per category if there's something really cool. Oh, so $165 is where it really started. Okay. I mean, I was close. <laughs> All right, so in our up to 150 plus the 10% making it 165 category, uh, I start out with the Icon Malice hoodie. It is exactly $150 uh, at Get Lowered. It's do dope Four hoodie. Times. It's a dope hoodie. Uh, it comes with D3O shoulder and elbow protection. Great to wear as an under jacket layer or under a leather vest for those days where... It's too cold for a t-shirt, but not cold enough for a full leather jacket. Size is small, 2, 3X. Now, for another option for all of those people who hate Icon. There's a lot of them. Folks, <laughs> I see the comments. <laughs> Check out the Highway 21 gearhead jacket. It's $10 more than the Icon, but it has the shoulder, the elbow, as well as back protection. And the hoodie can be removed, and you're left with a lightweight, water-resistant jacket. Lots of really cool features and pockets here. Highway 21 is also geared more towards cruiser riders as they go from size small to 4XL. <laughs> Just in case. 4XL. <laughs> That's rude as shit, but so accurate. Yeah, so uh. th there's, there's my two. All right, hun. Oh, Lord. Let's, let's hear yours. <laughs> okay. So I would just like to kind of like throw a disclaimer out there because I don't think I would spend this much money unless I begged and you would have to pay for all of it. So, well, yeah. So this is kind of my Christmas present. Just throwing it out there. Oh, you, this is your actual Christmas <laughs> list. Kind of. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck. Uh, however, is that some why everything's of this, circled. Okay, yeah. <laughs> no, some of the stuff on here though is like her I Amazon would, wish list. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm going to add it. Um, okay. So the first thing I wanted to say, cause I love them so much. So I would, looked everywhere and found it on Amazon, but I don't know if I'm pronouncing it right. Aura maybe. Mm -mm. Sure. What? You just shake your head. Um, but it's the pro, it's the 14 piece LED light kit for the universal fit cruiser. I mean, I figure it's a universal fit. It should fit any bike, but there's a People cruiser and there's a sport. <laughs> People are fucking stupid. Same. You have to remember that. <laughs> <laughs> but is 91.99. See, I stayed way low. Um, and it is 
you know, one day delivery, so I could have it tomorrow. Just saying. Mm-hmm. You but still don't have those on this bike? No. Well, I can't. Okay, this is the problem. I couldn't decide what color I wanted to go with, but this one, it's like. <laughs> you know how you're old? <laughs> Shut you still up. think they're only one color? <laughs> no, I mean, you could pick like a set amount of colors, but this has like a dimmer, a dimmer and you can choose how light or dark you want it to go. Oh, so you would you lose get, your shit at my kit. color. It would oh. be amazing. I know, I know. You've got it awesome. But it says it memorizes your favorite color. I'm like, good luck. So it, you just it, it you memorizes. It. <laughs> I it don't know memorizes. how, but it does. But it does work on, there's an app for it, which I love. So you can do it all from your phone, which is cool. But there are like two, um, what did it, two uh, wireless remotes. Like I've seen other kits that only have one. Mm-hmm. So I'm like, well, this is perfect for me because I'm going to lose one. So perfect. Um, and then um, I, I wanted to get the lights because now that it's getting darker, it just makes me think of like my first bike, you know, the street pop. And mm-hmm. I had pink lights on it and it was amazing and I loved it. And, you know, we're riding and it's a dark bike and we're all in black and it's nighttime all the time. And so I really want to put lights on now. So I actually had this kit on this exact kit. Yeah. On my Sportster. Oh, yeah. Did you it, like it? So uh, three times I had to send the controller back or they had to send me a new controller. But yeah. once I got everything right, it was a pretty dope kit. Did you put it on, did you use the app or did you use the controller? That one did not have the app, it had the controller. See, screw the controller, we don't need it. Well, if you get the uh, Shock and Awe 2.0 kit from an awesome American made company called Zero 3D, yeah. it has only an app. That's the only way you can control it. That'd be fine too. Yeah. Either and way. It's way amazing. You can hook it up to your brake lights. So mm-hmm. even if you're not running lights and you hit the brake, the whole, the whole bike will light up red. Oh, that'd be nice. Oh, that's the other thing. So this thing also, uh, it like, I don't know exactly how it works, but I know it does like flash to the music. It's science. Yeah. I know, but I'm just, I just I don't know if you have to put it on a setting. <laughs> Shut up. But I mean, so it would definitely work when I'm next to, to his bike. Particle physics. Shut yeah. up. Yeah. No, when I'm next to his bike, then my bike would be really awesome because it'd be flashing. And then whenever he gets further away, then it'll no, stop. No, it's a very sensitive microphone. As soon as you turn your bike on, it would be completely bright. <laughs> I'm okay with that. <laughs> Either way. All right. So um, we have the link for the Aura Pro. Mm-hmm. I'm also going to get the link for the Shock and All 2.0 because Zero 3D makes fucking amazing products. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And yes, American made is not Chineseum. Um, and yes, they're more expensive. But they also stand behind their stuff too. Yeah. You're you're getting an amazing warranty, amazing customer service, and Justin happens to be sponsored by them. Perfect. Do that. Not biased at all though. Get it done. No. You get what you pay for with things like this. Yeah. How how is the pricing though? Because I mean this there's so many options. Well, so you're talking, you know, in your notes here you're saying, Okay, if I got two kits so yeah. you're looking at two hundred dollars for the two, the thing. Well, they were cheaper if it was a ten piece, and that's what I was thinking. I was like, "Ooh, two ten pieces," because then I could have one is blue and one is purple, and then with change the them up. shock and all two point yeah. you can do the same thing. With you actually one have kit. three channels that you can do it yeah. with. Shut up. And it's it's two eighty four, so it is a little bit more expensive, but yeah, definitely high. So it was funny, y'all weren't there, but. At Lone Star, I started pointing out to Ken, I was like, it's so funny, you can spot the bikes and you can tell which one's a shit kit and which one's a good kit. Mm-hmm. It That was like my moment where I realized that not only is it better quality, but it looks better. Like mm-hmm. You can yeah. clearly see which bikes have Ciro or another premium brand and which one's got the $15 ones off of eBay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I don't want, I think we did put lights on my bike at one point or maybe it was a different bike i don't know i, I remember I, you having lights on that i bike. did yeah, and, and then did. it didn't work well, real no, quick the chinesium just melted or something and just killed the control yeah. and then the things That's kept right. falling out yeah. yeah it was just because you mess. had them on the bike when we met you at that bike night at that wing place oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah yeah was that that bike or yeah. was yes. that a different y'all, bike? y'all just gotten those ah yeah, it was the same kit I actually bought for the guy that we don't say his name. Okay, well, so we only oh, worked. Yeah. We only it only worked one weekend, and that was it. Yep. See, quality control issues. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> when you have the fake 3M, that's, that's going to happen. Well, this said real 3M, so I'm yeah. gonna okay give him the benefit of the doubt, I guess. Yeah. So okay, I'm, so let's. What's your second option? Because I think it's better than the first. <laughs> shut up. 
So he told he tells me, he goes, okay, pick an option for these price ranges. I'm like, okay, great. Get it done. Send it to him. He's like, no, I need you to pick two. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm like, why did Welcome you say that the life. first time? So I picked a second one, which is kind of fun because I really like it. Hold on. So, how much time did he give you? Uh, not This much. afternoon? Oh, okay. Yeah. Welcome <laughs> to my life. Hey, fuck face. This one, <laughs> yes. You had a fool. <laughs> Can I ask a question, though? Why do you have five rings on? I know. Oh, I've been saying that. It's he keeps buying silicone the rings. They're kind of cool, but his all his, finger, his fingers are all different sizes, so I think he's testing them out. <laughs> yeah, I'm just trying to see which one I like the most. Okay. Yeah, and they're not that expensive, and they're kind of cool. I think he's trying to make like a brass knuckle, but not brass. It's silicone. A yeah, silicone it's knuckle. like the California <laughs> brass knuckle. <laughs> <laughs> the California knuckle. <laughs> Sorry. All right. Anyways. So, no, it's all good. Okay. So the second one I was uh, picked, it's off of uh, Get Lowered. So it's the Speed and Strength Brat. Of course, it has to have that in the name for me. Mm-hmm. Um, woman's armored moto shirt. And I like the black burgundy, but they did have an olive. So mm-hmm. it's kind of like, um, you know, army green almost. Um, but I like the black burgundy because it had a pattern to it and it was pretty and I liked it. Mm-hmm. Um, but I think, I know I like have notes and everything, but I kind of like it because it's really... It's it's like it's just an overshirt. That's mm-hmm. what it looks like, um, but it's got the shoulder pads and the elbow pads, and it's got um, the armor. Yeah, these are armor. Sorry, not, not pads. Armor. It's all good. <laughs> My bad. I even put armor too. Um, but it's got like pockets in the chest that you can get to from outside. Um, it's got pockets somewhere it says zippered hand pockets i have no idea i looked at the pictures i was like it must be along the they seam keep them on the seams and you can't see it and i think i like that a lot because then you can and it has an inside like concealed carry um which i think was kind of cool too but um and then the front part was um it looks like snaps but it's a zipper okay so i really dig that too but i thought it was really cool because i mean i layer I yeah. layer everything. So I'm going to wear a shirt underneath it and then that. And then I can still wear my vest over the top of it. Yeah. Because I do like wearing my vest. But um, but I can't wear it whenever I'm wearing a jacket. Now, we heard from Rosie from the uh, formerly from the Litas about how it is a pain in the ass to buy women's motorcycle right. gear. Is this one geared more towards a woman or is it a I, Harley cut where they think everyone's a size zero in an hourglass yeah, figure? Yeah, they think everyone's an hourglass figure. Uh, no. Um, I think it's I think it's more it's kind of tomboyish. Okay. It's girly but not girly. Okay. So you it's know? it's shaped like a man's shirt. Yeah, but it does kind of come in a little bit okay. at the waist, just a little, I think. Um, mm-hmm. Just from the way that it looked, it look it looked like it's a woman shape instead of a man shape, which is rectangular. It does kind of come in just a little bit, okay. but I don't think it's forcing you to be that hourglass. You know cool. what I mean? Right. Yeah, speed and strength's good at that. So they're they're good at and tailoring no, it down just a little bit. Yeah, no emblems, no Harley Davidson all over everything. Although I am wearing a Harley Davidson shirt, you like that? So I have to say, <laughs> I went to the Harley shop and they've done their new lines. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Almost everything that is, you know, bald eagle and American flag, almost all of that is starting to die. Cool. It was a very big difference from what you saw in the shops two years ago. Yeah. Well, it, it kind of goes along with their primary demographic. Yep. They're yeah. starting to die. Yeah. Yep. So. <laughs> They're starting to die. <laughs> okay, boomers. <laughs> so mean. Go ahead and leave the comments. Ari, they Ari, are uh, not. I'm already feeling the comments coming <laughs> Whatever. from Whatever. Oh, I mean, you're right there with them, so. I am, for sure. For sure. Yeah, I know I'm old. It's I'm okay. only, what, eight years older than you? Yeah. Damn. Yeah, but I'm six years older than you. God <laughs> damn. <laughs> Am I even allowed to be around you right now? No, you're a tiny baby. I feel baby. like I'm not allowed to be in Little here. Little baby Justin. All right, guys. So moving on to my products. Um, I have the Memphis Shades Hand Guards coming in. The lowest one in this price category, I might add, at $79.95. Uh, the reason that I put these on here is because this was my most asked about item at the Lone Star Rally. Okay. Even while I was at the Zero Tent, people were stopping the serial employees and asking if they had those in stock and they're like oh no that's that's not our product so it's kind of kind of awkward and weird but a lot of people were asking about them um i think the reason most people asked about them is because it was very cold that weekend and most people had probably just rode if they you know weren't lucky enough to trailer uh through 40 degree weather and uh, they were just looking at more options to keep the wind off the nucks you know 
Uh, I've been really happy with mine. I've been using them for probably coming up on a year now. Um, in the summer, they keep the rocks and the bugs off you. In the winter, they keep just that last bit of feeling in your fingers. Yeah. <laughs> now, I do know it was around this time last year I bought the Chinesium version off of yep. Amazon. Mm-hmm. And they were metal. And turns out when cold air hits metal, it tends to cool it down. Huh. And then it somehow just transfers to my knuckles, freezing out my hands. It's simple mm-hmm. property of thermodynamics there. <laughs> there you mm-hmm. go. Because science. I'm curious I, if that's why Memphis Shades did that or if it's just because they already had the machines to make it. Well, it... Because they, they make fairings and stuff, so... Yeah, it's, it's going to be the same, same stuff. And let's face it, their quality is phenomenal. They don't need to go and build it out of metal. That's true. Yeah. Mm-hmm. They so didn't need why, to. Yeah. Why yeah. add extra weight if you don't have to? Makes sense. But yeah, much better than the, uh, they're, they're a little bit more expensive than of course the Chinese. Um, mm-hmm. How much you pay for yours? Like 30 bucks. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and these come in around 80. So, I mean, it is, it, you are paying more, but you're getting a far superior product. Yes. Can I Both just in say quality and function. That I get the function. I get yeah. it. But I hate the way they look. Well, they look like. They look like, you know, like gardening spades. <laughs> they look like you take the handle off and you put that on. I wish, because my mirrors are the, like the skull hand with the um, the coffin shape. Which says everything that people need to know about what looks you like. I love it. <laughs> but I'm just saying, if I could get like hand guards that were also coffin shaped. Oh, okay. Wouldn't that be cool? Uh, okay. I'm just saying. Yeah, you got she me. I could match. She redeemed herself. Oh, for sure. Yeah, you got me there. <laughs> there was a point I was make, trying to make it. Well, Tracy, this is important news. I am ordering my welder exactly a week from today. Oh. So I can build whatever the fuck you want. So. Yeah, but you won't do anything I ask you, so I have to That's ask fair. Jonathan to do it. Yeah. I'll have Jonathan pay me to do it. <laughs> All right, so my second option, uh, I picked the Bung Gain. Bung King Grabber Foot Pegs. That's just hard to say. <laughs> these are coming in uh, a little bit higher on the list at $142. I had these on my Dyna, and I will be putting them on the Chubby Shuttle. They're just super high quality, American made pegs, uh, super easy to install, and they will grab onto anything that you put on it, including your shins and knees and everything else. And they're pretty much not pegs they're like little baby floorboards i wouldn't say i wouldn't say that they're a little bit thicker they're, they're, than a peg. they're they moto fold pegs. up they're moto pegs moto pegs there yeah. you go yeah i wouldn't um, call them mini floorboards because that people start picturing something else when you say that true they're, yeah. they're moto pegs they look exactly like like dirt bike pegs but looks like a tiny hardware. bear claw or bear trap bear trap yeah. yes yes all, all i know is it gives me like anxiety just looking at it you know i never i never once hit anything I never had an injury because of those. Yeah. I just feel like if it if you did fall over and you got your foot stuck in there, <laughs> would it take off your entire foot? <laughs> okay. I'm just saying from experience. <laughs> I don't think my I don't think my foot's small enough to get caught in that. Well, a peg got me. That's why I'm wondering. I'm like how yeah, a stock I just, Harley peg. I just yeah. think of her worst case scenario. What if do you think it would really do any damage or maybe it just doesn't pop up as easier or as as easy no it's the same yeah i i guess i've never had that fear just because with riding dirt bikes so much i'm very conscious at getting my leg up True. Yeah. and out of that that's actually what caused brad to get his injury was not pulling his foot up yeah so that's true that he didn't pull it out <laughs> his game is off point <laughs> all right so you gotta put it in to pull it out so oh, <laughs> Uh, yeah. Let's let's move up to our two hundred and fifty dollar category. And for those who are not good with the maths, with ten percent overage allowed, it's two hundred and seventy five dollars. So Justin, let's continue with you. Okay, um, going back to our our uh, great company, Zero Three D. I put the Zero Three D bag blades. Uh, since I'm the resident lighting expert, AKA the bus driver, uh, <laughs> I had to put the bag blades on the list. Um, out of all the, the lights on my bike, or on the rear of my bike, I should say. On the battle donkey. On, yes, on the back of the battle donkey, the bag blades are my favorite. Just because they, they change colors, they go to amber, and they are sequential. So I mean, it looks so fucking cool. I hate riding behind you. 
Because so I, bright. Because no, I'm so jealous. <laughs> <laughs> so jealous. I thought you were gonna say because like I hate riding behind my no. dad and I hate riding behind Ken because of his oh, fucking yeah, flashers. My dad has bright zero lights on the flashers. Oh god. And it's oh it's so terrible. It looks I like want a damn that police whole car. Set up and the lights and they go. And, oh yeah. yes. Yeah. Well, there you go. You can get them right there at that link there and you go, donate baby. the project clean slate. Birthday, Christmas, <laughs> both coming up. <laughs> Just saying. All right. What about your second option? Is she really begging you for a two hundred thirty dollar gift right now? I mean, yes. God damn. Well, I mean, I can beg. I, I, it I'm doesn't sp- mean I'm gonna get it. That's what I'm saying. I spend more than that on my wife, and I make like ten percent of what he does. Yeah, but you know. I guess I love mine more. Uh, oh. My second item is the Cardo Pack Talk Bold. This is the single unit coming in at two hundred and forty dollars, and I think it well. You guys can't say it because you didn't buy it, but it's the best purchase that I have made all year. Just full transparency, I didn't buy mine either, but uh, <laughs> probably the top five of my entire biker career as far as products. Uh, everything that was wrong with Cena is not an issue anymore. Everything that you wanted it to do that Cena did it, it, it now does. Uh, better quality, uh, better uh, sound quality, better speaker quality. Um, ridiculously easy pairing. I mean, we can turn off our we can turn off our communicators at gas stops now and <laughs> save the battery even longer. So I we, I've used mine over eleven hours playing music and comms the entire time, multiple times now. So yeah, cool. No, they they are legit. They saved our ass on <laughs> the oh, Texas Roundup right. Fuck yeah. <laughs> Having to to herd a bunch of unfamiliar riders through uh, a bunch of alternating Waco routes was a madhouse, <laughs> and it it's it's weird because with the Cena you have the noise that lets oh, yes. you know that you're always connected. Yeah, the <laughs> exactly. <laughs> That's, That's good. spot on, right? <laughs> uh, with these, you have to like, hey, are you guys still there? Are y'all there? <laughs> Yeah. Or someone has to like clear their throat. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's they their wind noise reduction yep. is spot on. The I, only issue we have is with my passenger. That's the only issue we have at all. What and you, I, I think it's the passenger. Wait, it's wait, possible. Wait, how do you mean? It's very possible. <laughs> we changed up her mic the yeah. last time we went when we rode to Lone Star and if she held her breath, we never heard anything. <laughs> or if she was like conscious about how loud she was breathing, mm-hmm. it never kicked on. Mm. But I think she's just a heavy breather and it's heavy enough to trip the mic thinking she's talking. Oh. Yeah. Well, you know. <laughs> but I hummed it myself, so I'm She also glad. wears an extra small helmet, so she doesn't have a lot of room. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, so do I. That's true. I have a chicken head too. All right. You haven't run the, the pack talk yet, though, so it could be an issue with you. I as know. Well. I have nothing because I just try to figure out what you guys are doing because I'm not even on anybody's comms. <laughs> I'm like, I think we're turning, but I'm not sure. Yeah, w- weird how that worked out, huh? <laughs> Pretty sure. It's like you did that on purpose. Yeah, but you know what? Every time that we were on Santa, it was always Brad and I. I don't know why. Yes. <laughs> Y'all did that on purpose or something. I don't know. So Brad and I would have great conversations. No, because I would have swapped Brad out for Donnie anytime. Like if I had the, the I control over. I would have talked to Donnie it. too. Would have been fine. <laughs> bike life, bike life, bike life, bike life. Every time a fucking motorcycle went by. So on my list, I went mm-hmm. with the Zero 3D floorboard highway peg mounts. So Justin and I both have these on our road glides. Mm-hmm. Absolutely love them. Love them so much. Bought a set for Tracy. We haven't put them on yet. <laughs> yeah, they're I, still sitting there. They'll get on there eventually. Yeah. Uh, but they come in black and chrome, all oh. kinds of adjustments. I mean, just anything you want. Yeah. And you can add damn near any peg you want to them. So it's kind of nice. When I first saw them, I was like, okay, these are going to be kind of cool. Kiriakin had a set that's very similar back in the day. And it actually would hit the ground mm-hmm. and flip a bike. Uh, oh shit a buddy, a buddy of, it happened to a buddy of mine in the hill country that would really wow. suck. and it it okay he must be going so now slow. now i'm really worried about it being on my bike but are you these, sure with these you know how i lean with these no issue <laughs> okay so i i 
I hit up John Maxwell about these because he I saw his video of when he put it on one of his customers bikes mm -hmm. and he was ranting and raving about how awesome they were. So he assured me that I had nothing to worry about. And he was right. Uh, I had him on when we went through and rode the pig trail and scraped the shit out of my floorboards. <laughs> didn't hit these yeah. at all. So when I'm talking about what I didn't hit, I didn't hit the peg on these at all. The bottom of them. Oh, okay. Yeah, the bracket. The area? bracket. It, okay. It's it's right there. Right, right. And even with my floorboards, they're a little bit higher, so I have a little bit of a higher adjustment on the actual peg arm. Mm -hmm. I still didn't touch the uh, the peg I have on these this kit. Mm -hmm. uh, I do still drag my foot sometimes, but <clears throat> but yeah, I, I tell you what, I love these things. These are the best highway pegs I have ever had. Yeah. So I've, can they're I just, so different. They are. Yeah. They're so different. I think what I like about them, and I'm excited about putting them on, is usually whenever I see highway pigs and you guys are on there, it's like you are seriously man spreading. I mean, it's like air is going up and around. Well, that's the point. You I have know. To cool, cool and down I'm the like, boys. that is not comfortable for me. I do not want that at all. Well, and yeah. so this kind of comes in, so at least I can kind of feel ladylike. But not so spread eagle. <laughs> That's what you're worried about when you're riding a, I a am. Harley Davidson. I don't, I'm not trying. I'm not trying to be like that. Um, now these are expensive. They are right at that $250 mark. But you're getting what you pay for here. It's not the Chinese garbage like Kiryakin sells. This is legit. It's it's chunky just metal these are so legit mm -hmm. that i have mine extended out twice as far as they're supposed to because my floorboard is also extended because of my exhaust <laughs> and they still hold up nice so yeah. they're i mean if you know anything about leverage and shit like that yeah that's a big deal <laughs> now if you don't have a harley touring bike or you already have a set of highway pegs that you love well wow. hold on Sorry to cut you off, but what I like about these is you can also have these if you already have frame mounted highway or sorry bar mounted yes. highway pegs. Yeah, you can. Because I was actually set. considering adding another set just to give myself a higher mm -hmm. foot position. Mm -hmm. Because these are they stretch you out, but the way I have them, I have them down low. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But I was also liking to add a second one up top. So even if you have highway pegs, this can be another option. Yeah, true. Um, but for those. Who don't have the touring bike or don't have or they have pegs they already love uh, option two is the <laughs> speed and strength tough as nails moto vest okay <laughs> i've talked a lot of shit about speed and strength uh, except for this <laughs> except for this um, you fucking love this thing <laughs> oh my god it's it's always been a mixed bag with them. Yeah, they either have really good quality or it's just garbage. Like their mm -hmm. Moto Nine shoes mm -hmm. are garbage. Uh, I have two pair of them. They're really? just terrible. Mm. But with these, I had a chance to try the vest on when I was in San Francisco, and I have to admit, I was fucking impressed. Um, it's part leather, part waxed canvas. And the colorway that I just fell in love with was the black upper leather and the brown lower canvas. Yeah, just, I really like that. It looks good, and it it still reminds you of biker clothing, but not old geezer biker clothing. Yeah, that vest um, looks like you would be super hot and sexy in that, I'm just saying. Okay. With some chaps on and maybe like a shirt on, it would be hot. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we have the GoPro going right there. <laughs> All good porns have two camera angles. <laughs> um, no now with this it's one, just... one of the things I like is the one of the big things I like. It's the front of it. The closure is a zipper. Yeah, I saw that too. And I like it because in the past I had the snaps and. They would rust out. Even the Harley ones would rust out over time. Just or they just wear out. Yeah, yeah. They just don't stay snapped. Yeah, <laughs> metal bends. But mm. also, it allows me, you know, with the zip up, mm. it keeps the armor in place. Mm -hmm. Which I should probably mention, this one does have armor in it. So that's a big thing for me. But what, where does it have armor? In the back. 
Okay, that makes sense. Yeah. I was like, well, it's no shoulder or elbow. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'm um, missing something here. But yeah, so having the zip-up closure, I can wear a shoulder holster when I'm doing concealed carry. Mm-hmm. And with the zip-up, it stays in place. I don't have to worry about someone seeing it or knowing that I have a gun there. So it's pretty cool. I really like this vest. I will probably end up buying it myself. Uh, it's just over $200, and with having a big old chunk of back armor there you can't really go wrong um oh and it has a fuckload of pockets <laughs> see and i love that it's, the more pockets is better so there's there's my two um now i will say i found this one on amazon for 199 dollars with prime shipping so it's a little bit cheaper than the get lowered one and you can get it in two days all right. Oh, Lord. I'm up. Oh, you have a speed and strength on here as well. I do. <laughs> Not on purpose. It just happened that way. <laughs> Jeez. But, okay, so it's the speed and strength, street savvy. There's way too many S's there. <laughs> Women's leather textile jacket in the oxblood black. But you can get an olive black or black and black. So, but it's like, um, I'm not really a leather person. Mm-hmm. I like the textile. Like, I have a jacket, and it's textile, and I really like it. But I kind of like the combination, kind of mm-hmm. like your vest. I like the combination. So um, this is – sorry, I went over just a bit, just a tiny bit. So it's actually two seventy nine ninety five, but close enough. We had clear guidelines, <laughs> Tracy. Close enough. <laughs> Get me a discount. It'll come down. Um, <laughs> it does have a hoodie, but it can come out, which is good because I honestly do not like riding with a hoodie, but I like wearing a hoodie as a layer. Mm-hmm. I don't like the... I love riding with a hoodie. It flaps and the thing, and you have to tuck everything. It's just annoying. So I like feeling it flap. I feel like I have a mullet. <laughs> <laughs> Makes me feel more American. You know. Or, or Australian now. They're, they're <laughs> onto that thing now. No. I, well... I, I wear it because I have to because I layer, but I don't like it. So I do like that this comes out um, if you need to. Um, it does have the shoulder, elbow, um, spine protector. So I guess mm-hmm. like your vest. Um, and it has like a bunch of pockets too. So I really like that as well. Um, it has, I think one of the things again is, um, you know, it's not that you have to be an hourglass shape. It doesn't have the already built-in boobs, <laughs> basically, like a lot of women's jackets do. Mm-hmm. But it does have, like, the room in your chest. So um, I've read up a little bit, and it did say, you know, buy a larger size, which, okay, it's a jacket, so you're going to buy a larger size than normal right. because you're going to layer. Um, but the the sleeves, I guess, yeah, the sleeves, um, they had, like, a buckle so you could adjust. Okay. And then the cuffs, you know, they, they you can uh, adjust those as well. So I like that. And then it had the back vents as well. So if you need, like, you're feeling like you're having a fat day, then you can unzip it and have a little bit more space. You know that's not what those are for, right? <laughs> for me, it is. It's like, I'm gramping. I need to unzip it. Sorry, guys. Um, but <laughs> that's what's happening there. Or I ate too much food. Does that make you feel better? Um, so yeah, I do like that it can, you know, depending on your pants too i mean like it can expand yes okay thank you there we go but yeah so i really really dug that so yeah it was really cool it does have a concealed carry i do not conceal carry but i did like the fact that it was a big old pocket inside and i could put my phone in there or whatever so again i don't have to wear my vest i can just have the jacket it's good so there's that part. With your rock form mount, you don't have to worry about oh, keeping yeah, I forgot. your vest. Yeah, but I haven't there's put that, that on the bike either. <laughs> it's still sitting. It's like a little pile of stuff we need to put on the All bike. Right. <laughs> None of y'all's bikes are going to fucking start. No. Like, no. <laughs> triple I, charger. Okay, look. <laughs> I've been working every weekend. I'm ready to ride. Um, okay, so I have a second option too. Mm-hmm. So the second option um, is also from Get Lowered, um, but I did find it, I think, on Amazon, or yeah, I don't know. You found, found it on it Amazon. On Amazon. Um, but it's the Built Well X File 80 bag. X Fill. Whatever. <laughs> it's at $199.95. Um, I think the. So back, back a long time ago with the Street Bob, um, I did have like a seat rest thing or not a seat rest a backrest sissy bar thank you and a i put stick. i put a bag on there similar to this but smaller and it was the best you know when we did any long rides or anything it was so easy to get into and of course you know street bob doesn't have um saddle bags so <laughs> it's kind of my only option um but i think this bag i really liked because um you know it had 
not I mean not only does it sit on the passenger seat so behind me um, but it has a big old pad so I could lean against it you can stretch against it it's gonna hold its shape it's it amazing. looks really cool and then I really like that it has like the um, you know the 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 pad will open up and then it's like a tool compartment and it has all these other little like a mesh bag and an enclosed bag it has all those things of course I look at it as yes I can put tools in there because I do carry a tool case but it's like raggedy yeah <laughs> it's a hot mess so I would love to have something a little bit more organized to put that in but then I like the other little bags because I know you guys you guys don't know but you know as chicks when we ride or whatever we carry makeup and we carry other things that you can't you can put it in your saddle bag but every time that I do I'll ruin a lipstick or if I'm having deodorant or something then that turns to liquid in a mm. saddlebag because it gets too hot so those little bags are kind of perfect they're just right there you can pat your nose and when you stop at a gas station really quick get in and out and you're good to go and then it has a lot of um just cargo space <laughs> i just really like that too yeah. and i think that one of the things that i hear a lot about other women riders or passengers is we just don't have enough room i i know it's the you know stereotype that chicks carry a lot of stuff but i mean i yes i have two saddlebags plus i'm sure i have jonathan's two saddlebags and because <laughs> he doesn't pack much <laughs> so if i really needed it i could have it so did you know yes. my love that I believe there's a video that you can go check out about this bag. Yeah? That Justin did. No, really? That's my bag. That's, that's the same bag I have. Well, there you go. See, and I picked well. That's also the most popular <laughs> it's a great bag. giveaway item for the Patreon give back. Yeah, it's a great bag. It's, I dig it. So to, to kind of go on your point, if yeah. you're going to use that front tool pouch like you're saying you will mm -hmm. yes this could possibly work for what you're describing it mm -hmm. this is not a because i you were talking about the the bags that you would take if you were just going around town in the street body of night storage that's not this bag because getting in and out of this thing is a pain in right you have ass. to it's like a it's, it's like a the brown top. bag it's a roll, yeah it's a roll top <laughs> to and then it, it clips up. over that so it's secure so mm -hmm. like this is this is my favorite put on the bike and go back this is go to arkansas and there's yes. your trip Yes. Yeah, that, and, and also, that's kind of how it looked at that it. back pad, even with it full of tools, you cannot feel the tools. Yeah. It is still very comfortable. That's what saved my ass going up to Paris the first year on my Dyna was yeah. that bag. I dig that bag. Also, the attached uh, waterproof sleeve is right. dope as fuck, too. And it's in there. It's like you yep. unzip it. You just pull it out, stick it there. I won't lose like it. I won't forget it. Bungee. Yeah, it's perfect. Do you know how they name their bags? How do they name their bags? So the X fill is the line, and they all come in different numbers. Mm -hmm. And it's the amount, it's the number of cans of beer that can fit in it. Shut up. Are you serious? <laughs> the X fill 11, my tank bag, X fill 11, it can fit 11 cans. 80 freaking, yes. It's huge. That's all, yes. that's the only bag I took to Arkansas. That is the best. <laughs> Baby, make that happen. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> all right. You can become a patron and have a very good chance of winning it. But <laughs> No, I can't win. Are you kidding me? I, I would, won. I would Why be. Not? I can't win. That, that'd be like. Hasso's won. I Ken's won. I feel like that's won. cheating. Why? I it's the same you. amount of dollars. Then again, you don't give me nothing, so. I, it's picked randomly. It gives you shit. That's, that's true. I, I would have no <laughs> control over it. It's all done randomly. <laughs> that'd be cool. Not according to the comment section. <laughs> it's only been that one time. Oh, okay. Ever since I switched to the new system, I haven't had any complaints. Oh, okay. Because it'd be impossible for me to fix it. Did you just go to Google randomizer? No, that's what I did the first time, and that's what f made people like super upset because I think it was Brad or Ken one one of the very first ones, oh. yeah. and people were so pissed. I'm like, okay, so now I do like I actually draw numbers on camera live. Mm, got it. So there's and that I randomize sense. everything. Everything is that's yeah, probably yeah. better than people feel better that way. Yeah, whatever they want, man. It's all good. All right, so moving up to the five hundred, yes. or again for the the non maths people. $550 with the overage allowance. Let's have you continue, Miss Tracy. Oh, God. I have to go again? Yeah. Okay. I don't so, think I picked two on this one. No, you didn't. No, you didn't. Oh, well. Because I told it. Jonathan, I was like, you made me pick two, but he didn't pick two. He's like, well, he doesn't have to. And I'm like, but then why I was did working, I? So. <laughs> <laughs> so was I. Um, not as like hard as you, I guess. Okay. Well, so. I guess. That's, that's a fact. <laughs> so. 
this is what I put. I put the black dial analog speedometer tachometer, and it is from Harley Davidson. It's three fourteen ninety five, um, and I even said it's not quite five hundred. But knowing me with the labor, because I know I'll mess it up, just putting it in, <laughs> I'll have to take it. So I feel like I'll. Sp- I need it's to pad plug and that. Play. That's what he said. <laughs> Let me just put it this way. It's <laughs> On not. A road king. This. Okay, look, we changed a, the light and we didn't push it in hard enough and we couldn't figure out why it wasn't working. And we took it up to the Harley shop and they were like, well, we just needed to push it harder. <laughs> Seriously, we couldn't figure it out. We spent hours. You don't remember that? He's looking at me with a blank stare. We did. No, the only time I had to take your bike to the Harley shop was when I fucked up the, the bars. Was it the bars? The handlebars. Oh, I just remember it was all of that. Anyways, so this thing, though, every single time I go into the Harley shop, I look at it and yeah. play with it every time for years or as long as I can remember. Yeah, it's super cool. I want it so bad. I think the biggest thing that I love it is that you can program it to any color you want. So while I'm trying to figure out what color I, lights I want, I can also program so it matches and it coordinates and it'll be beautiful. But I do like it in reality. Um, I am always, um, you know, pressing the little button on my gears or not gears. Mm. Handlebars. Thank you. Um, <laughs> or controls or mm-hmm. whatever it is. Yeah. Anyways, um, to go through everything, because usually I, I like my... Um, read out to be like on what gear I'm in because I always forget <laughs> or what my RPM is I don't or whatever. I ever looked at my gear indicator on I, this bike. <laughs> I look at it all time, every single time. And it, I feel like now it's habit that even I know I'm in second gear making a right turn, you know, <laughs> in a subdivision, <laughs> but I still look and it's like, I can't not. So anyways, I do it all the time. And then when I get low on the gas, I check my gas every so often. I check the time every so often. So I'm constantly going through all of that. This would be so nice that it's all right there. You can see every single thing you can see what gear you can see the tachometer you can see everything and i don't have to flip through anything so oh it would be so amazing if i had that all right and for the folks that are curious about what she's actually talking about here there's the link to the harley davidson um, website that has this on there yeah i'm so not a technical person so we <laughs> go look at it you can't buy this one aftermarket Mm-mm. This is directly from Harley. And I have been looking at other places, yeah. and some of them get close, but just doesn't have this look to it. I like it. Yeah. So there's that. Um, okay. So because I had to look for a second option, and I'm <laughs> like, the constant, constant. Okay. So second option is called the Drag Specialties Large Touring Seat. It's in a dumb, double diamond stitch. It's amazing. It's beautiful. But it's from Get Lower for five forty six ninety five. dollars uh, Apparently, you can also get it from Walmart. I'm like, what? <laughs> you can order well, a Harley it's, seat? It's Drag Not Specialties. A Harley seat. So. Yeah. You can order from Walmart online. Anyways, same price. So, fine, whatever. Um, I cannot. I, I know I like put in the notes. In my great seat hunt, <laughs> not unlike roadblocks handlebar hunt. <laughs> Damn. Damn. I've, I've, she got one in. <laughs> gone through a few. Um, but it does look squishy. It did say, I don't know how else to describe it, but I need a squishy, a little bit wider seat. Because I feel like where it hurts is, I don't know how else to put this, but it's like my hip bones or wherever. But it's like near my groin let's just put it that way um so that's what hurts all the time and i feel like if i had a wider seat and could spread it out a little bit better that i could i know this is so bad it's low hanging fruit but i know yeah just that looks terrible to me go past it but uh, i feel like i could (laughs) never mind i'm not even gonna say that i feel like i could spread my cheeks a little bit further um but no i feel like (laughs) i feel like it'd be more comfortable um it is supposedly sits an inch lower than a stock seat so I'm like, well, that could be cool. Um, I'm always having problems with my bars. I can never really, they're not perfect either. So I i know we just got, what do we get, the reach seat? So mm-hmm. that did push me forward. It didn't change my posture on how I'm holding my bars. But it's still now, my knees hurt because <laughs> now I'm too far forward and my knees are bent seriously 90 degrees. But that's why those... Um, the the Zero 3D floor board. Yeah, that's why I'm looking forward to that because then I can kind of like relax my knee because, you know, as girls, we wear tighter jeans than you guys do. And so it puts that pressure well, on Well, not knees. according to the comments section oh, of well. Justin's video. <laughs> I might give you a run for their money. But. <laughs> but, you know, so I really dig it. Um, 
I haven't run like I kind of said I haven't really been able to find too many reviews and I know I'm going to have to try it out before I yeah. believe it but whatever but it did say that it had a solar reflective leather and that it was supposedly um, drops at like 25 degrees so when it's sitting out in the sun uh, versus regular leather seat hmm. so I kind of dig that you know burn your butt when you sit down the saddleman had that leather along with the gel and mm-hmm. the insert that doesn't heat up and it was insane nice. How night and day it was. Yeah. So I wonder who's making this seat for drag specialties. Do you know it's not them? Yeah. They're rebranding it from someone. I don't know. Every t- everywhere I looked, it was drag specialties. Yeah. Every, so, so I don't know. Chong Chong Incorporated, probably. Yeah. And Shenzhen, China. Shenzhen. But the um, passenger seat. So I've always wanted like just a solo seat, but now I'm kind of understanding why I have a passenger seat, and you can put the bag on it. So to carry your bitches. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, it's carry my luggage. <laughs> um, but the passenger seat sits up higher, so you have that good curve where it's like lower back support yeah um so i kind of dig that too so cool. it looks good i really like it so we're gonna you know make that happen honey <laughs> jesus <laughs> <laughs> she's like a two thousand dollar fucking christmas God, no kid. kidding <laughs> but i'm worth it all right justin all right so i only picked one because slacker because i have a job uh i picked the dino jet power vision mm-hmm. coming in at 429 on getlower.com and uh so i don't have a ton of experience with this just because I got to take it out of the box and put it on the bike and play with it for like 30 minutes before I had to hand it over to the tuner. But uh, for only $30 more than the, the uh, Vance Hines Fuel Pack 3, this one to me is a no-brainer. Um, the gauges on it, dude. The gauges are so cool. So like like you said, you've got you know your standard Harley one. So this one is a screen and you can put it on your bars and you can have it set up to where it's like six boxes basically. In each one of those boxes, you can have a different readout. So you can have your your gear, you can have your engine temp, your intake temperature, uh, your idle speed, your actual speed, your throttle position, anything you can think of. Anything that goes into the ECM, you can put up on these displays. And then there's like probably 10 pages of that, which is either like an analog dial and two boxes or like two analog dials. It's so so much you can do with just the gauges alone not even delving into the uh, performance side of things right yeah it's a great tuner and it's it's really good for people who want to have multiple tunes yep so if you ride in the mountains you want to was it lean out your fuel or richen up your fuel when you're going up i want to say you richen it i think so but yes you rich if you're riding up into the mountains Mm -hmm. because it's not as much it's less dense air Mm -hmm. you need to richen up your fuel to allow for the compensation of the lack of air or oxygen up there so having that ability to do it on the fly so you just hit a button it remaps everything for you instantly and you're not going to have any performance degradation Mm -hmm. when you're hitting the mountains that's that's huge especially for californians and people in nevada and not so much us the rockies but you know i did briefly look at it and the screen looks really easy to use and i think like ease of use i think it's It's all complicated um but it could be useful for us too because our summers and winters vary so much so you could have a summer tune and a winter tune yeah it's getting a little ridiculous at that point if you ask me but it's doable if you want to do it or (laughs) like if you if you actually race your bike like if you go to the strip of course, you're not going to want to have that same tune on the strip as you do mm-hmm. riding, riding through there. traffic. Yeah. Would it be good for people that um, that ride all year long, those kind of people? It'd so be good be for like, anybody because yeah. just I mean, tuning like the bike stock, you're going to gain a good amount of performance out of it. Even if you don't do a, an intake or a pipe or anything like that, mm-hmm. the tunes within the Harley standard ECMs are very dialed back. Because they have to meet emissions. Well, stupid emissions. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, for my item, uh, I went. It's a good pick. I went with my hands down most favorite helmet I have ever owned, and I've went through more a helmets lot. than I have handlebars. A so that should, that should tell you mm. something. But allegedly, I no, am he, seriously. And he uh, wears like a huge giant helmet too, because he's a huge giant head. 
Love there you. It is. Love you. So I went with the. Heard s- girls like big heads, though. I mean, it's not. I heard it's about the little pop that it. <laughs> you see, you laugh because you instantly know what pop I'm talking about. <laughs> so the Simpson Mod Bandit Helmet. Uh, I can't say enough how much I love this helmet. And it is a modular helmet. That's what the mod stands for. And I've owned a few, but this one is by far the quietest that I've owned. And I'm not going to say that it is a quiet helmet. It is quiet for a modular helmet. Um, The comfort is amazing. The airflow is on point. I also love the fact that it's toolless swapping of your visors. Yes. And the visor doesn't suck. No, the visors are dope. So, and you can put pin locks on them, which makes them even doper. Yeah. So, what you did with yours, uh, you don't have the mod, but you have the the normal, the regular bandit. Yeah. yeah. Um, switch out the sun visor. Yeah, it has a retractable sun visor. Swap that out. Put a clear one in there, mm-hmm. and then put a sun visor, and in Justin's case, a pin lock with an even darker sun <laughs> visor on it. When I lost my pin lock on the way up to Dallas, I was like, holy shit, it's so bright in here. Like, I had to put my sunglasses back on. (laughs) But, uh, you know, people ask why. I was like, we ride most of the time during the day. Mm -hmm. Yep. You know, with a few hours, we might get caught in the nighttime. It's just open up your visor and you still have something to protect your eyes. So Mm -hmm. that's awesome. And, yeah, it's fucking expensive. It's five hundred dollars. That's like mid range for helmets, though, dude. It is, but <laughs> Kinda, yeah. with most of us Harley riders, you know, if they're spending more than a hundred bucks on a half shell, they're pissed. So well, they I can mean, fucking true. go die and be yeah. stupid. I don't care. That doesn't affect me. <laughs> um, but at five hundred bucks, you're making an investment, and you only really get one brain. So there's that. Mm -hmm. And I, you know, people ask me how I can wear a full face helmet in the Texas heat. I'm like, well, look at this face. I was lucky enough to get my wife with it. Oh, shut up. (laughs) I don't want to go down and get all my face all fucked up. It wasn't all just your face. You'd still have your money, though. So you'd be fine. Hey, you know, I met him. (laughs) When we made the same amount of money. Yes. Uh, But I saw investment. So I'm just saying. (laughs) Some people age better. Um, So something else that's nice about this helmet, it's. It's ECE approved. And it's American made. Well, like 95% American yeah. made. <laughs> I've gotten to go through the entire factory. It's dope. Yeah. Oh, uh, it's made. It's Texas made. It's even more important. Yeah, it's Texas made. <laughs> um, but as as we all should know, DOT safety rating is bullshit. Yes. So look for any helmet. I don't care what helmet you get. Look for something that's at least ECE or Snell rated. Where does it say that? on the back you don't have to get a snow rated helmet to race next season really for the dirt bikes oh you only have one brain yeah it's pretty dope too so oh god will you stop <laughs> i know uh, how much it pisses you off you think i'm not doing this on purpose <laughs> so no, every, i only have so much beer left so every <laughs> time justin says dope tracy has to take a drink I've been playing this game with myself every time I listen to you guys <laughs> whenever I'm working. I'll usually just say drink because I'm working. But it, yeah, Justin, every time he says dope. Jonathan, every time he says now. Oh, God. I know. Because he <laughs> you starts must get sentences trashed. like that. Now, then, the trifecta is you need to watch my build series and take a drink every time I say, all right, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Ken is specific. The trifecta. Ken is specific. He has to you know? say fucking. Oh yeah, fucking and you know. He'll say fuck. Yeah. And he'll say a lot of other it has to be fucking and then drink. Yeah. Gotcha. So also <laughs> I want people <laughs> to uh, side note. Yeah. Also want people to understand something about this helmet. It runs big. Yes. I actually fit perfectly with the extra large when I typically even between a two X and a three X and like a bell. Yeah. So make sure you measure your head before ordering this helmet. Um, or find it somewhere local and try it on. Mm-hmm. Yep. Because um, it, it runs different even from the Ghost Bandits. Yeah. Alicia tried both on back to back, and she couldn't even fit into a small on the regular Bandit, but she could fit into an extra small on the Mod Bandit. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And well, modular helmets typically run normal. Different. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, yeah. and they sit differently on your head. So, yeah. I mean, what may be fine for one may cut you in the forehead on another. Yeah. 
Um, now, if you already have the helmet you already love, and, or <laughs> you don't want to spend five hundred dollars on a helmet, yeah, I say go with the GoPro Hero Eight Black. It is still probably the best action camera on the market, and with the new eight. There's all these mods you can get for it. So you have a lot of different options for how you shoot video. So if you're looking for a cool helmet camera that you can actually use as like a legit vlogging camera, mm. the new Hero 8 can do that for you. Um, I also like the new night lapse mode that it has. Uh, the Amazon link is for the bundle that comes with a 64 gig micro SDHC card. Um, if you do get a new GoPro, you should check out the Ciro GoPro Ball Mount. Uh, this thing is awesome little accessory that you can put your GoPro on anything that is a quarter inch 20 um, nut. So this is the... Uh, he's like, no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, got it. <laughs> uh, this is your windshield bolts on your touring bikes. They have a quarter 20 mounts on there that's what it's meant for but it comes with a longer uh quarter inch 20 stud which happens to be the same size bolt that goes onto your seat so if you want to mount this on the back of your bike you can actually get a pretty cool angle of people riding from you know, behind you mm -hmm. so i have all of those things Man, i should get that mount since no one's ever in front of me <laughs> except you at stop signs there <laughs> beat the commenter to it <laughs> Um, okay, so in the show notes, we have links to everything we talked about. We're also going to have a kind of an extended Christmas wish list uh, on the show notes. So just cool stuff that didn't quite make the uh, the show itself. For the closing argument, and I did this one specifically because Tracy was on I saw. the show. <laughs> I was like, you must have done this for me. <laughs> what is the best way to practice motorcycle skills? Justin. Go get a dirt bike. No. Yep. Every guy that I've, well, aside, from, I don't know about if you said it, but both Brad and Haas have both agreed that riding on the dirt made him a better rider on the street. I believe that. I'm just never going to do that because I will kill myself. That's just me. Well, <laughs> maybe you should become a better rider. Mm. <laughs> Hence I, the question. I just know, <laughs> I, I know where my skill set is and it's not in the dirt. It never has been. I suck. With that attitude, you're always going to suck. <laughs> I can't say that it's made me a better rider. Well, because you've only, only been ridden, like 14 minutes. <laughs> I've only ridden on the dirt once. Can I have a little tiny, like tiny, minutes. like what kids wear or ride? Like a little 50? Mm, like a little tiny You could, but I don't think that's going to enhance your skills. I'm just, It'd I probably have, be fun. Look, but I'm terrified of freaking gravel. <laughs> okay. You won't be once you get on the dirt. <laughs> Once you realize how much you can throttle it out and how to handle it. Yeah. Maybe one have you ever seen things. me drop my bike on gravel? No, but you're a really good rider. Uh, Save that <laughs> shit. That's dope. That's dope, dope, dope. You are. You're a good rider. <laughs> Shut up. Uh, I'm just being nice to you because you let me come on the podcast. I didn't. I wasn't asked. Well, <laughs> he's tolerating you me. You should blow your husband if that's your thought. <laughs> I like where your mind's at. <laughs> I'm just trying to help you out, bro. Uh, okay, Tracy, Word. what is the best way to practice motorcycle skills? Um, first of all, I like that you put this question and not a technical question because I don't know what letters belong to what bike. So this is much much more my speed. Okay. Yeah, Tracy, what's um, the difference between the Street Glide and the Street Glide Special? One is a special. She nailed it. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> I think when I look back on, you know, what made me a better rider, more confident mm -hmm. in my riding ability um, was way back in the day whenever we used to practice in a parking lot. Yep. And um, there will be a lot of times where I would go on my own and practice because it was like so many people or whatever the case would be that it just couldn't get good practice when there's a ton of people around. And so, um, so I did the whole you know, buy a bunch of tennis balls, cut them in half, make mm. yourself fake cones and go weave cones in a parking lot. Um, so I did that a lot, make circles, um, really lean over um, and, you know, use the, what is it, the pool noodles and put them on your crash bar. So whenever you do fall over, it won't scratch up your bike. But i never, um, never seen that before. Yeah, we did that. So a few. Tracy, I need to do that and then take the chubby shuttle off road. 
Or the, yeah, I'm sorry, the Battle Donkey off road. <laughs> there you go. Just pat it up. Just it's fucking fine. Go for it, dude. Just pat it up. But I, I really liked doing that, and it was also like almost. Um, like therapeutic because you would just start making these figure eights and you just kind of lean over and then you weren't like in your head Mm -hmm. you were just kind of like okay i'm gonna make this lean and then i'm gonna make this lean and it just kind of you just kept doing it over and over and next thing you know you were leaning way over yeah (laughs) and making these tiny little baby circles around things so that i i think whenever you first get a motorcycle you know learn how to lean it over learn how to slow race learn how to maneuver it yeah. Um, until you get comfortable and your confidence builds up. So that's what I think. Yeah. So parking lot, cone weaving, slow speed. Your skills are going to be learned at the slow speed. And the better you get at slow speed, the better you will be at a higher speed. Yeah. Because you already have the confidence there. You already know that you can lean it over, dip it into a turn, and not have as much to worry about. Yeah. That fear is going to be gone because. Fun fact, if you drop your bike at five miles an hour and you drop your bike at 70 miles an hour. It still sucks. <laughs> it's it's still going to cost you the same amount of money. <laughs> it's still going to suck. <laughs> what? what? How yeah. is that going to cost the same amount of money? What? If you what? drop your bike at 70, you think you're going to have the same insurance bill as if you drop your yeah, bike just, in the garage? You know, slide so on its side. No big deal. When <laughs> Tracy hit me. Ugh, why do you have to bring uh, that up? It was the same cost to get the crash guards repaired that it would have been when I dropped it in a parking lot. Those are rookie numbers. You need to get those numbers up into that 7,000 range. <laughs> Kind of break them in for hit you. It, hit them like a man. <laughs> <laughs> you know, honestly, though, with the, with, the, with the bike I have now, so it's... I haven't taken it out into a parking lot. No. And I think about it every single time I pass one. There's there's one that's not too far away that it would be so easy to just go do that. But um, I, I know that there are times where it's like, I, you know, when we ride in the twisties, I'm like, I don't really know how far I could lean over. <laughs> so I'm like, and I think about that. And, and when we were on the pig trail too, it's like, well, emergency, you know, there's a dead animal on the road and you have to quickly, you know, swerve around it really quick. Yeah. I mean, I can do it, but... I don't know the capability of my bike just yet because I haven't really tr- pushed it. I mm-hmm. haven't tried to lean it over. And that and that that is really the key. The bike can almost do more than the rider can. Mm-hmm. Oh, for sure. Because mm-hmm. people think, oh, I scraped my floorboard. I, I leaned over too far. No, no, that's that's the yellow zone. Mm-hmm. You're not into the red until you start scraping frame. Yeah. And oh. then at that point. When you're having to replace your derby covers, yeah, that's how you know you're you're really getting it. Or when you're go ahead. <laughs> so when we lived in Dallas, God, Tracy was on the street, Bob. I'm just saying I'm pretty fucking awesome, and I do cause a lot of damage though. <laughs> she was making a left hand turn um, at an intersection in a city street. Yeah, no big deal. Yeah, so she leaned it over so fucking far <laughs> that you know the little road turtles, yeah, the, the lane separators clipped it. Oh, it busted Popped a hole. In That's the right. Bottom. You told me that it broke the oil pan, right? The the primary. The primary. The, or the primary cover. I was uh, the just outer like, primary cover. I would just like to say, because, I mean, and, and I was like, of course I was showing off, sort of. Yeah. I mean, I was showing yeah. off. And I was like, look at me. I can I can lean way the hell over. And I did. And it was amazing. And then I park it because I was on my way to work. And next thing I know, the security guy comes. And he knew it was my bike. And he goes, so your bike is leaking all over the parking lot. I'm like, oh, my God. Jesus. <laughs> Fucking Harleys. I was like, oh, oh they do is damn. Leave. Wow. Oh, and it was bad. It was bad. It was so bad. We had to tow it. <laughs> Get it fixed yeah yeah that bike's not moving uh, <laughs> under its own power but you know i lean that thing way over but i was comfortable with it and there were um like obstacle courses and stuff that i played in and and placed and placed and but there were obstacle courses where you had to do like tight circles and you know i remember like the first time i did it i fell over but it was no big deal because yeah. i'd i'd done it before i'd done it in a parking lot and so if i made that turn and just went oh crap okay we'll just lay it down and get off stand it back up no big deal and i feel like i'm not quite quite there with with the with address but i don't know we'll see yeah i was watching a bunch of like uh, enduro tip videos on how to ride better enduro style dirt bikes mm-hmm. and this one guy said one thing that i felt was so true across all 
you know, uh, disciplines a motorcycle. There's only two types of riding in any sort of motorcycle. You are either in control of the bike or the bike is in control of you. Yeah. I was like, holy shit. I never even thought about it that That's way. It's deep, right? Yeah. Because like that time your your butthole puckers up, that bike's <laughs> riding you at that point. <laughs> <laughs> and you could just feel that coming for you. So yeah. I think, you know, the other thing too, it's don't think you know everything. You may oh, have been no. riding for 50 years, and that doesn't mean you're still a good rider. <laughs> no. <laughs> what was the joke? Oh, man. I forget what we used to uh, say. It doesn't matter if you've ridden or if you spend $20,000 and ride 20,000 miles. It doesn't mean you're a biker. No. Yeah. The motorcycle riding is a lot like sex. A lot of guys think that they're really good at it, but very <laughs> few actually are. <laughs> Oh, it's so true. Thank you for tuning in to Between Two Wheels podcast. To see the show notes for this and all of our episodes, to find links to our social media and Patreon page where we are raising money for Project Clean Slate, head over to our website at www.betweentwowheels.com. The two is spelled out T-W-O. On behalf of Justin, Uncle Ken, I am Johnny Roblox saying, be yourself unless you're a jerk. Then be someone better. Peace. Uh, 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 uh,